this is going to be the most rushed video I've ever made in my life. I was hoping to get a different video up instead of a music cover, but I wanted to get this out now while it's relevant. I've just remembered, I've cut all my hair off. So now you've seen that. It's a bit messy at the moment, to be honest, but um, new hair. Um, basically, this is about the dress. You know the dress. If you don't know the dress by now, you must have been living under a rock. Basically, there's a picture of a dress and everyone's arguing because some people look at it and they see a blue and black dress and some people look at it and they see a white and gold dress and no one can understand why the other people can't see the colour they're seeing and everyone's going crazy over what colour the dress is. Now, there's been loads of theories of what's going on and what's happening in the photo but I have the debunked theory for you and I'm very excited because science makes me happy. The photo of the dress is an optical illusion. It's not to do with defunct corneas in some people's eyes, it's not to do with uh, Photoshop and them like adapting the photo and it's not to do with the, like the way you're looking at the photo itself, it's to do with the lighting in the photo. It's basically to do with the way your brain is interpreting the lighting in the photo. So thought experiment, you have a white shirt, when you're wearing your white shirt outside in the sun you can see that it's white, when you're wearing your white shirt in a club under strobe lights you can see that it's white. Now the light that's going through your eyes that you're receiving and using to um, interpret the signals and go oh white shirt um, is different in those two situations but your brain takes note of the fact that the lighting situation is different and adapts so that you can get the same signal and know that the shirt is still white. This is what's happening with the dress because What's happening is, if you're looking at it and your brain is making the automatic decision that the lighting situation is that the dress is being lit full from the front, you're seeing a black and blue dress. But if your brain is making the decision that it's only being lit from the bright white light that's behind in the photo of the dress and that the front is in shadow, you're seeing a white and gold dress and everyone's brains just short circuits differently and that also explains why some people can see it one way and then see it the other way because their brain changes their mind about how it's being lit. This also means that if you go and look at it again and you concentrate hard enough and think about where the light is coming from you'll hopefully be able to see the dress in both colours. Excellent! Science is so fun! Until we get a wider photo, we won't know whether it is in fact black and blue or white and gold, although I'm told that the owner of the dress says it is in fact black and blue. My musical shout out is going to be another Uptown Funk cover. I'm sorry I know I gave you one like two weeks ago, but this is the best thing. I've been trying to decide wh what I'm going to use as my musical shout out for ages because there are so many good musical things in my head at the moment, but this was great. I'll link it below. My visual shout out is a short film called The Fleeting Little Life of Peter Wright by Tim H. Content warning, it is about suicide, but it's actually kind of happy and heartwarming. It's really good, I loved it, and I'll link it below. That's all. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.